Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Rogue Light. The goal for today is just going to be to grind up some coins and see if we can get a few more unlocks. And uh, along the way, you know, give a little shot at seeing if we can, seeing how far we can get, which is kind of necessary for uh, getting coins. But I also just want to kind of get a little bit of an estimate of. Um, how possible it is to play this game without a lot of unlocks. Now here, this is a trick that I really like that I hope I can do correctly. There we go. Oh, no, not quite. Let's see. We gotta line them up with this lamp and then you can bounce the arrow off the lamp. It's a nice little way to save arrows. I ended up wasting a bunch of arrows trying to do it, but that's kind of how this game goes. Lots of coins down there that we want to get. Uh, over here, first I want to, let's see, jump like that, and got him. And then, let's see, it looks like we're on an edge here. This is kind of, this is one of those areas where we can save an arrow, uh, basically by stumbling around in the dark a little bit. And uh, if we don't knock it, then uh, we won't have to fire it. And they do tend to fade after a little while. I'm going to do tank some damage there so that we can get that heart. And uh, it looks like spikes might actually do more damage than I thought they did because early on in the game, there is there is that thing of a lot of stuff does more damage to you than it will later on in the game. But we got a coin and uh, we got at least one health back. So now we, oh. And then I just did not see those spikes at all. Oh dear. Okay, so things are going a little bit badly right now. Going to have to... Ah, that's why I can't get up there. Going to light that lantern. We will be back for those coins. I do want to get out of here over that. Oh, and I hit them anyway. All right, so that did not go particularly well. And uh, we have not unlocked anything. So we are going to have to do better than that. Let's give it another shot. See if we can do a little bit better, be a little bit more careful. And uh, one thing that we have not upgraded that I need to keep in mind is we have not upgraded our arrow distance at all. Managed to get both lanterns with one arrow. That was pretty tricky. I always like when I manage to pull that stuff off. We have a flying skeleton there. And I think we managed... Ah, oh no, we didn't get the ghoul at the same time. So we are now pretty low on arrows. But we did get two ghouls at once there. And now we can jump up here and grab a few more arrows. So this is going, so far, a little bit better. Let's see. Oh, got two at once without even being able to see one. That was a lucky shot. I think we want to light this lantern, and that will illuminate some area around here. And it will also tell us where we've been, which is another really useful aspect of lanterns. Here again, we want to be a little bit kind of choosy about which lanterns we light because we want to light the ones that are going to give us the best view of our surroundings and kind of the best indication of where we've been where we haven't now this looks like it's the exit but I actually want to stick around on this level for a bit longer because our main goal is farming up coins we're not actually that worried about progress just yet. And we can use an arrow. Okay, so we can see that there is something over there, but we don't have a way to get to it. And uh, we could, with some arrows, kind of trying to see, you know, is there a way of jumping over there? Looks like there is not, so we're going to have to leave that. And it looks like we even can't get over to the left this way unless we go back around here. So from here, it looks like there's some stuff that we can hit over this way. Ah, there's a platform there. But then there's none there, so we don't actually have anything to see 
Oh, that was very nearly bad. But we can get some more coins from that guy. And we are pretty low on arrows at this point. But I think we are ready to head into the next level. And uh, we'll just be trying to see how much we can get done before we run out of arrows. Missed that skeleton, that was unfortunate. We can grab a couple more coins here, and now we are out of arrows. A uh, little bit uncertain what to do at this point, other than kind of wander around, try and find them, try and find coins. We are doing pretty well for coins at this point. I am pretty pleased, even if uh, we do end up dying right here. I will be all right with that. Oops, took some damage there. Want to be careful about uh, how you shoot lanterns uh, when you are around spikes. And here, well, I thought there was a lantern here for us to shoot, but uh, we're taking quite a bit of damage. This is the uh, the running out of brightness that I mentioned. That arrow is not very useful to us, and that is death. So let's see if we unlocked anything. Looks like we can get a health up, more coins from enemies, 10% chance for double arrow, that's that's a really useful one. More, uh, more arrow brightness, or more arrows. And I think that more coins is going to be our primary concern right now. And then uh, as we kind of get the more coin upgrades, we'll be able to get the other upgrades and uh, eventually we will be able to get you know a hundred hundred coins in the first couple of levels which will make things a lot easier make us a lot more able to unlock stuff and of course we will be also unlocking along with that other things that will make us more powerful will make things easier for us But for now, our main focus is going to be on coins, because that's what will unlock everything else for us. And we're getting pretty lucky with arrow drops today. It looks like we've already found the exit, but I don't want to head into it just yet. And it would be nice if we could find some way of marking that that is where the exit is, so that we don't... Oops, that was a drop-off. Nearly, nearly ended the level there. Let's see. This is actually where this game kind of gets into something that I really enjoy, is kind of trying to remember where you've been and try and figure out where you are without a ton of light. And uh, that's, that's something that I have enjoyed kind of even when I was a kid I would try and find my way across the um, all right try and find myself across the room after I turned the light switch off just by you know on the one hand remembering where I'd been and what was in front of me and on the other hand just kind of trying to feel my way out so we have lots of arrows over here, so we can take a little bit of a risk shooting at that lantern. That got us a couple more coins, and I think we're ready to leave the level. So let's see if we can find our way back to the exit. Is this it? No, this is uh, someplace very different. And uh, I'm kind of glad we found it, because there's some coins down here, there's a lamp lantern down here. Let's see. Ah, there it is. So on to level two, and it looks like we've landed on one of these little in-between areas that we sometimes get, and you can actually shoot those fireflies, though it's uh, pretty much a, ba a bad deal all the way around when you do. But every once in a while you get these little in-between areas, in-between levels, and I've been pretty reckless with my arrows here, so we're going to have to try and be efficient. That was very efficient. And then we've picked up two more, but... Oh, there we go. Now we have a full quiver. 
And that, again, was very efficient. Let's see, we're still at full health, so that's fine. We can use an arrow to kind of... Oh! That was a surprise. But we're doing all right. We saw some health back here. Yep, there we go. And now, let's see, we can head up here, get, get ourselves some more coins. So, I'm not even sure, do you get coins? Yes, okay, so fireflies do drop coins, but they also light up the environment, so it's kind of a uh, not great trade-off. And that was some um, arrows lost. We're getting a ton of coins, though. Oh, that's even more health lost, so I think... At this point, we're just going to be trying to get as many coins as we can before we die. And uh, that might not be very long. And I can't get up there. That is disappointing. Oh, and that is death. So we should be able to unlock quite a bit now. Let's see, we can get more health, lots and lots of upgrades. I think more coins is the still the most tempting because that's going to just keep building on top of itself. And then uh, in the next episode, I'm just seeing the time now, I think in the next episode we're going to be focusing on uh, getting more of the other upgrades, some of the more gameplay oriented upgrades. Because we have a pretty good uh, stack of coin upgrades, we should be getting more coins per level now. And so now just making it more possible to get into the later levels is going to be the focus. Until then, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.